others. We can donate our books to needy children. We can give few amount of money to poor people. We should be kind to everyone. We should have little siblings and elder siblings. We should help people who are in trouble. You don't need money to help others. You need a heart to help others. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم خير النا خير الناس أنفعهم للناس. The best among people are those who are best for others. Hadith about helping each other. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خير الناس أنفعهم للناس. The best amongst people are those who are best for others. We can help each other by helping the poor, caring for your elders, caring for someone who is ill, helping someone with their homework, and helping your parents with the housework. All of this should be done for the pleasure of Allah in order to gain the highest rewards, inshallah. With our topic. Ways to help others. Help someone on the edge. Buy food for a homeless person. Make a donation. Be there for people when they are having a tough time. Pray for people when they are in a problem. So, have you ever wondered what will happen if you help people? When you will help someone, Allah will help you when you are in a tough situation. So, I hope you all help others. So this was our today's topic. Hope you guys understand. Allah Hafiz and thank you. And today our topic is Base Kids Can Help Others. Be kind and help others. 
We can help others by giving food to poor. We can help our mom in home chores. We can help our friend in their homeworks. We should never say no to our elders for their work. We should donate our old books to children who can not afford. Kala Rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khayrun nasu un faqahum lin nas The best amongst people are those who are best for others. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fatma and I'm 8 years old. Hadith by Lifeline made by Fatma. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم خير الناس أينهم من الناس The best amongst people are those who are best for others. We should be honest and always speak the truth. We should offer namaz five times daily and tell others also Take care of each other and help each other. We should read Quran daily and pray for others. We should always be thankful to Allah and practice five years of Islam. Thank you. My name is Adi Khan and 10 years old and this is my presentation about how to help others. This is to help. Help people even when you know they can't help you back. We can help friends at school. We can help family at home, we can help parents in doing their work, we can help other people on roads and streets, we can help poor and needy near our area, helping at school. We can help our friends in doing homework, helping someone cope on schoolwork if he or she was, on, was ill or on leave, giving lesson diary and a day's work to someone who was absent, involving in study groups so you may be able to help your classmates. Staying after school and helping your teacher in arranging the school for an event. Helping teachers to carry the school books. Organizing the library after school. You have two hands, one for helping yourself, the other for helping others. Helping at home. We can help our little siblings in doing their homework. Handing out a cold drink whenever you see someone exhausted. Keeping one's room tidy. Setting the shoe rack. Organizing twice. Reorgan reorganizing the bookshelf. Helping parents. Mother. Folding laundry for mother. Helping mother in the kitchen. Help your mom in keeping the house in order. Help your mother in doing household chores like dusting. Father. Organizing files for your father. Make sure you keep your nose out of them. Help him finding keys or spe spectacles if he misplaces them. Polish his shoes for work every night. Give him water when he comes from work. Help him in doing grocery. Help organizing and store afterwards. Helping people in public. Planting, planting trees and Planting trees and encouraging others to do so too. Pushing the wheelchair of a disabled person, making pacing or distributing poster for saving the environment, carrying things for people. If there is a new kid, play with him so he gets a good impression of her neighborhood. Plant to today. Helping the needy. We should donate unwanted toys to poor children, donate old but good books to the poor children or schools. Instead of wasting money on money or food, we should give it to needy. We should contribute in charity work near our near your area. We should we can donate our overgrown clothing or shoes to children who cannot afford. We should distribute warm things in winter. Do you know? We can also make or send gifts and cards, blessings, jokes, and sweets to the admitted children of hospitals and or orphanage homes. 
Helping others make us feel happy and peaceful. Helping others develop kindness and keenness of doing good deeds. It creates stronger communities, a friendly and happier society for everyone. We should help others for Allah's sake, not for showing off. A small act of kindness can change someone's life. We should think while helping. If I won't help, then who will? Humans are made for each other. The one who doesn't help others is selfish and mean. Helping shows that we care for humanity. If I will, if I will lose the opportunity to help, maybe it will never come again. Be the reason someone smiles today. Helping others doesn't take much effort. If you don't help someone today, no one will be there for us tomorrow. So go ahead and help others at, at, as it is a good deed. Follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Khairun nas wa anfa'ahum lin nas. The best amongst people are those who are best for others. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa sallamu alayhi wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ushba Muhammad Vakas. A hadith in life. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خير الناس أن أنفعهم للناس. The best amongst people are those who are best for others. Now let me share some ways to help others. Feeding the poor, helping friends by sharing stationery and other stuff. Picking up dangerous things from the street. Taking, uh, taking care of our neighbors. Co cooperating with housemates. Helping parents in house chores. Obeying and respecting the teachers. Visiting the sick. Speaking kind words. words spreading smiles. Jazakallah. Ukhairun. Welcome to Ready and Tabby Show. Myself, my name is Ever. I am 8 years old. God is helping others. Helping others. Helping others by my name is Ever Hamidi. Help others with charity or money. Give clothes to the needy. For who has no money, give water and food to others. You can also help your mom make food if she is tired. We should also donate books and toys, etc. to the needy. You can make dua for them, teach them how to pray. For Allah and Islamic stuff. Where you should we help? Orphan on all on road and street near store. My work ah the and my age is 10 years and I'm from Great Britain, Serbia. Hadith is my life. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم ما تعلم القرآن and those people are best those recite Quran and prepare Quran to others. Five ways to help each other. We should help our parents. We should help needy person. We should help volunteers. Hand deliver back lunches to the homeless. Partake in a neighbor's cleanup. We should help our teachers too. Jazakallah khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
आज हमें हाया कंपटीशन के विनर्स अनाउंस करने हैं बॉयज पीस कॉम्पिट कॉम्पिटिशन थर्ड पर्सन गोस टू मजाकिर माशा सेकेंड पर्सन गोस टू इब्राहिम तलहा फ्रॉम रियाज माशा माशा And Ibrahim, who do you think first person goes to? Ibrahim, go to Ibrahim. Ibrahim, you were not not at the comp competition. <laughs> first person goes to Fahad Amin. Let's all say, Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Now for the girls category, eight to twelve years. Third person goes to Bari Rabindi Muhammad Bilal. Say Mashallah. 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 Say Hakim Bashan goes to Zara Wasim Khan from UAE. Mashallah. Mashallah. And the first version, Ibrahim. Can can you guess who? Ibrahim was very. Ibrahim, you are not not a girl. <laughs> And the first question goes to Aisha Naz. Let's all say Mashallah, Mashallah, la quwwata illa billah. Now for the age category, thirty to eighteen years. Third question goes to Khadija Faisal, Mashallah. Second question goes to Manal Abid. Let's say Mashallah. And first version goes to Aman Wasim. Let's all say Mashallah, Mashallah, la quwwat illa billah. Jillo ki is the position nahi aayi. Unko fikar karni koi zar 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 nahi hai. Kyunki compet competition to baat hote rehte hain. Bas Allah Taala hamein dunya aur aakhir aakhirat ke saare compet competition asani se karwa le. Ami. See you in the next next lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Alayhi salatullah Wa alihi wal ahibba La ilaha Assalamu alaikum everybody Today is Hamza with you to test you on some riddles. Get ready! Here comes the first question. If you don't keep me, I'll break. What am I? This is a bit easy. You only have five seconds to guess each question. And you got it! I promise! Our next question. Imagine you are in a room with no windows or doors. How will you get out? You better use your brain for this one. And you got it. Stop imagining. I make a loud sound when I am changing. When I do change, I get bigger but way less. What am I? You better use your brain for this one. And you got it, popcorn. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? This is quite easy. And you got it, footsteps. Moving on to our next question. If a sister his. If a brother, his sister, and a cat, cat want under a, an umbrella, why didn't they get wet? And you got it. It wasn't raining. Moving on to our next question. What goes up but never comes back down? Hmm. You should get guess this one. And you got it. It's age. Next, our next question. A red house is made of red bricks. A yellow house is made of yellow bricks. What is a green house made of? 
You should guess this one. And you got it! It's glass! Moving on to our next question. What is easy to lift but hard to throw? Hmm. I hope you get this right. A feather! Our next question. I have many keys but no lock. I have a space but no room. I can enter but can't exit. What am I? This might be a bit hard, but try guessing it. And you got it. A keyboard. Next, our next question. What is harder to catch the more faster you run? I hope you get this one right. And, then the, an and the answer is your breath. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Hope to see you next week. شبكة إنشادكم العالمية تقدم الحمد لله وبركاته My name is Master Ali Shah and today I'm going to read you guys a comic So let's start The comic's name is Between Fair and Hope First box, a believer is between fear and hope. Emmett says that. Hmm, I should try feeling this fear and hope too. Third box, guys, you know how bad it's pointless talking? You should fear and laugh for your carelessness. Hello, Woodbird, I miss the Jamaat. Hey, all that talk that's merciful. Dear students, we should have fear for ourselves and hope for others. Boy, I have it all wrong. The moral of the story is that Ahmed thinks that he should have fear for his friends and hope for himself. But that's not the case. He should have fear for himself and hope for others. Jazakallah. Today, we'll be doing the Adab of Salam. Point number one. Adopt the practice of mutual salam. Whenever meeting a Muslim, say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In reply, one must say wa alaikum assalam. All other ways are baseless. Point number two. When a person conveys the salams of, of another to you, reply alayhim wa alaikum. Wa alaykum as -salam. This is the best. If someone replies, Wa alaykum as -salam, it's also suffice. It, it will also suffice. Point number three. One person of the group making salam will be a representative for the whole group. His salam will be adequate on behalf of the group. Similarly, if, if from the ga gathering one person replied, it will also suffice. On, it will be suffice on behalf of the whole gathering. <coughs> Point number four. The one who initiates the salam obtains greater thawab. Point number five. When replying to the salam of a person, it should be made verbally, not by a sign of the hand or nod of the head. Point number six. Better repayment for a favor will be when the repayment is some, somewhat more than the act of the favor re rendered. Thus, the reply should be more than the salam greeting. If assalamu alaikum was said, the better salam will be wa alaikum as -salam. The better reply will be wa alaikum as -salam wa rahmatullah. If wa barakat was also added, it it will be an added merit, merit. number point number seven it is wajib wajib obli, ob, it is wajib obligatory to reply to the salam which is written in a letter 
This reply may be in writing or verbal. Point number nine. Instead of writing or saying the salam, to say any other term or to adopt the, uh, adopt the greeting of any other community is bidah. <coughs> Such as an alien greeting is, is in fact all alliteration of the sharia. Point number 10. Wait. A person who is engrossed, engrossed in a conversation or in some work should not be greeted. The newcomer should not intrude with his hand shaken. Such an act is uncultured and causes distress to others. Point number 11. When answering the call of nature, neither reply to anyone's salam nor offer salam. Point number 12. On promising to convey a person La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Alayhi salatullah Wa alihi wal ahibba La ilaha illallah السلام عليكم يا أصدقاء الأطفال كيف حالكم بخير طيب اليوم نحن نقرأ نشيد الرائعة طيب سوف نبدأ وهذه النشيد للغتي لغتي سهلة سارة ذات نهار أي لغات عالم أحلى أي لغات عالم أغنى بالكلمات وأندى قولا قال محمد بعد روية أحلاها لغة العربية قالت أمل في إيمان أحلاها لغة القرآن لغة الفصحى أجمل عندي حتى من ألوان الورد أضيم في الشعور من الشهر وهي أحلى وهي أولى وهي أحلى وهي أولى طيب الآن هذه النشيد انتهت مع السلامة طالع البادر علينا من ثاني السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كيف حالكم بخير طيب اليوم نحن نقرأ النشيد حفنة ماء سوف نبدأ حفنة ماء حفنة ماء ذات مساء طارت خلف طيور الماء قد ودعت البحر وطارت حتى ضاعت في الأجواء صارت سحبا فوق الأرض ليست تدري أين ستمضي صارت سحبا فوق الأرض ليست تدري أين ستمضي عن قصتها راحت تبكي عن قصتها راحت تبكي من رقتها أخذت تبكي من رقتها أخذت تبكي حفنة ماء ذات مساء طارت خلف طيور الماء قد ودعت البحر وطارت حتى ضاعت في الأجواء وإذا التمر يصبح مطرا فوق تلال الأرض انهمر وإذا التمر يصبح مطرا فوق تلال الأرض الأرض انهمر وإذا المطر عذب عطر لما انكسبت رقص الشجر فإذا المطر عذب عطر لما انكسب رقص الشجر حفنة ماء ذات مساء طارت خلف طيور الماء قد ودعت البحر وطار حتى ضاعت في الأجواء 
شربت زهرة منه قطرة حمدت ربا زل خيرا شربت زهرة منه قطرة حمدت ربا زل خيرا قتل المطر شرب البشر وانما زع وزكى هطل المطر شرب البشر ونما دعا وذكى سمر Salam, he is my messenger and my prophet. He the, he the prophet that he is sent by God to be merciful for all creatures. May Allah pray and peace to the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, he is the best man and has good manner. He is, had actually said uh, I had always sent for completing good manners. Uh, that is uh, the topic. The topic with, with us today is inshallah about Islam. How can Islam is based on? What is the pillars of Islam? The hadith about that that had mentioned all of those pillars of Islam can be mentioned in hadith narrated by Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al Khattab radiallahu anhuma. Qal, Qal sami'tu Rasul Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul. بني الإسلام على خمس شهادة شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الذكاء وإيتاء الذكاء الذكاء وحج البيت وصوم رمضان. It's reported by the Imam al-Bukhari and the Imam Muslim. So that is the first شهادة. That is a شهادة that the first pillar that Islam is based on. A shahada uh, that to testify that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is messenger of Allah. That is the first, the first pillars of Islam, of Islam based. A shahada to testify that there is no God to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad. And the second that is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger, is the messenger of Allah. And he had published actually, actually the message of Islam to the world to, conv to convey this message of Islam. And, uh, and for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, ثم جعلناك على شريعة من الأمر فاتبعها ولا تتبع أهواء الذين لا يعلمون. شريعة من الأمر that is concerning with the matters of religions. So this Sharia is based on Shahada Allah ilaha illallah testifying that there is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is messenger of Allah. That is the, our Prophet Muhammad, Allah's messenger, that he is sent by God. By God. Salah, that is the second pillars of Islam. The second pillars of Islam based is Iqam Salah, establishing and performing prayers. To establish prayer, that we have five times prayers for every day we can to establish and perform all of those prayers at every times at uh, uh, and they have certain times you that muslim has to perform all of those prayers at uh, at all of the uh, at all of its time we have five uh, five time prayers we have salat al-zuhri wa salat al-zuhri wal asri wal maghrib wal isha wal fajr so we have five prayers at the first Salat al-Fajr, we have two, uh, two rak'ah, and Salat al-Fajr wa Salat al-Zuhri, four rak'ah, and al-Asr, four, and maghrib three, and al-Isha, four. That is wa iqam salat establishing prayers. Wa ita'i al-Zakah, wa ita'i al-Zakah, to perform Zakah, to, uh, to give uh, poor Zakah, and وحج البيت that is كعبة المقر المكرمة وصوم رمضان to fast رمضان that is reported by the Imam Al Bukhari and Imam Muslim. So uh, we can to start uh, right now. If anyone can able to make reciting for this hadith, actually it's reported by the Imam Al Bukhari and Imam Muslim. How can to say, can anyone recite that hadith that is actually 
uh, based on Islam and can be collected uh, five five pillars of Islam that I had mentioned from us, uh, uh, that I had mentioned before on Abi Abdul Rahmani Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhuma qal sami'atu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul how can you say how can you say Buniya how can you say Muhammad Jizn can you say Buniya al-Islam Buniya al-Islam wa ala khamsatin the first Buniya al-Islam ala khamsatin Buniya al-Islam ala khamsatin yeah, the first. Hamsatu arka min siddin. Yeah, mashallah. Sawmu ramadan wa hajjul bayti min sitai sabila. Yeah, exactly. Mashallah. Okay, Abdullah. Abdullah. Anyone, Abdullah? Yeah, yeah, okay. Can, yeah. can you mention uh, from the beginnings on Abi Abdul Rahmani? عبد الله بن عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنهما قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول هيكم بليت بني الإسلام على خمس شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله وإقامة الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وإيتاء الزكاة وصوم رمضان وحج البيت لمن استطاع إليه سبيلا yeah, mashallah. That is actually pillars of Islam. That is an Abi Abdul Rahmani Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al Khattab radiallahu anhu ma qal. Samiatu Rasul Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yakul puni al Islamu ala khamsin shahadati Allah ilaha illa Allah first wa anna Muhammadan Rasul Allah second wa iqam al salah wa ita al zaka wa hajj al bayti wa sawm Ramadan. That is actually the five pillars that Islam has based. With the authority of Abu Abdul Rahman, Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu said, I heard the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Islam had been based on five things, five pillars. On testifying that there is no God save Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger. And the second on performing salah and third on giving the zakah and on Hajj to the house that is Kaaba and Mukarrama, and on fasting during Ramadan, that is Shahru Ramadan. Shahru Ramadan in Ladi Unzila Fihil Quran, Al Quran. So that is that is month of Ramadan that the Quran had been revealed by God to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to guide us for the, the along with the right path and to be guided. Um, that's uh, actually some pillars and some essentials for uh, for Islam. And the first the first pillars the first pillar we have is the first uh, the first pillars we have is a shahada, justifying that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is messenger of Allah. That is the first pillar. And the first pillar and the first part of shahada. Yeah, that means the shahada has two parts, has two parts that Muslim has been believed in. The first part of the shahada is to define a shahada, to define that there is no, there is none worthy of worship except Allah, that's first part. And the second part is assembly uh, saying uh, Muhammad is messenger of Allah. That is the second part of Shahada. And also the Muslim has to believe that a Shahada that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is messenger and it is actually had been known that there are, there are seven conditions on Shahada. There are there are uh, uh, seven conditions of Shahada. Seven shurut li Shahada. What are those seven conditions of Shahada? The first knowledge, knowledge, to understand what it means, to understand what is the meanings of the word shahada, a shahada, the meanings of shahada, to testify, to to believe that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is only one, is created human, he is, um, he he is created human. Uh, he is created human human beings. 
on this life uh, to testify uh, to testify that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only one to understand the, that is the first conditions for shahada knowledge knowledge al-ma'rifa wal-ilm bimana al-shahada to understand what it means to understand al-shahada what is what is the meaning of shahada yeah to believe that Allah is only one and he 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 has made us in this life he has he had ordered a muslim uh, to believe in allah subhanahu uh, to believe in in him and to follow uh, the pathway to to follow the guidance of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to, to recite the holy quran for to to recite every day to determine some uh, some parties and some determined Whose abortions of the Holy Quran every day to start reciting, to start reading every day. And all of those, mashallah, that is Muslim has to know and to understand what is the meanings of the word shahada. The second conditions we have from the conditions of shahada is, al, um, is, it, is certainty. Certainty means uh, al yaqeen to have no doubt about anything confirmed in Quran and Sunnah. To understand and to, to know that Quran, Quran is revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through Al-Malik Jibreel alayhi salam. A Muslim has certainty, yaqeen and knowledge that there is no doubt. There is no doubt in reveal, revealing that Mus'haf, in revealing that Quran to the Prophet Muhammad, there is no doubt about, about that, and they are authentic, authentic, uh, an authentic hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the, so uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala had saying, "ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين." ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين. ذلك that that's referring to or indicated to the Quran. There is no doubt. Anything confirmed in Quran and Sunnah of Hadith uh, traditions of the Prophet Muhammad, of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, and the third conditions we have acceptance. Al-Qabool. Yani to have acceptance, Qabool, by your tongue. And heard of whatever shahada implies. To acceptance, to be acceptance for this shahada, to accept and to agree that shahada uh, is uh, the way and path to the right way, and um, and to knowledge and certainty, and th there is no doubt with regard to this shahada, and to accept, to accept the shahada, not only by by your tongue, not only about your tongue, but also the heart, your your heart. Of whatever shahada implies, we have to acceptance shahada by the tongue and by the heart. Of whatever shahada implies, the four conditions we have submission, submission, submission al Islam, the actual physical enactment by dates. Submissions al Islam to the order of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And that Islam is derived from the word al-istislam, al-istislam awamir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be submissions and to, to uh, make you all of your deeds and all of your actions only done uh, in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you had entered to this religion, that Islam, only for uh, to be guidance men and that religions and to be submissions for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Islam al-amr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, that Islam is submission, absolute submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's uh, the way of worship the way of worship and the path قال Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُوا مَا تَعْبُدُونَ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدُ وَلَا أَنَا عَابِدُونَ مَا عَابِدُونَ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا عَابِدْ لَكُمْ دينكم. For your religion and for me is my religion. That's, that is believers, they are going to believe 
one another Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we are Muslims we are only believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad that is the best the first and Muhammad is messenger of Allah that is what had distinguished between us uh, between Muslims and disbelievers a uh, truthfulness that is um, that is uh, the five uh, pillars uh, of conscience five conscience of shahada to see shahada sincerely sincerely with honesty to actually means it to actually means its truthfulness to see shahada sincerely that means al-ikhlas 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 lillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala to waliqeen to free your hearts from any evils from any evil actions from every every evil deeds and to stay shahada sincerely yaqeen with your heart not about not only with your tongue also to say shahada sincerely with honesty truthfulness but Allah Turing we are citing a and also a sincerity 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 to do it to, to perform shahada solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not from anyone else, only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last one, from the conscience of shahada, love, love, al-hub wa liqeen, to love the shahada and to love its implications and requirements and uh, what it stands for. So shahada is not, simple, it's not simply saying it with our tongue. We need to adhere to, to it, this mm -hmm. conscience. If we, say, if we say shahada sincerely and with honesty, we will not do anything which contradicts with and violate shahada. Yep, so the first part of shahada is justifying that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, uh, and we have seven conditions for shahada knowledge yeah. certainty acceptance substance truthfulness sincerity sincerity and love and the second part of shahada we have is the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is messenger of allah to believe that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and whatever he told us and convey it to us that's a, the second part of shahada is believing in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as messenger of Allah. How can you believe in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a messenger of Allah? Firstly, to obey, obey him, and to obey him in whatever he commanded to, uh, he commanded us to do, to obeying, obey the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the orders and the principles and the conscience uh, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said. For, for uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, May you tell Rasul, Fakat Ata Allah. For this whole obeying, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will obey the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by following his commands that he had said and avoiding avoiding all, uh, all of those evil actions that he had forbidden us from doing that. To stay, for, uh, to stay away from or avoid whatever he commanded us not to do I and mean, that's actually uh, as we can we can see that is actually like pity or righteousness as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had said ya ayuhan nas inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila li ta'rafu inna akramakum 'inda allah atqahu so the first principle and the first value of islam is at taqwa wal 'amal as salih that's distinguish muslim right Attaqwa to be righteousness, man, and to al-amal salih good deeds in your life and in hereafter. To good deeds, to make or perform good deeds. Attaqwa wa al-amal salih Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha wa qulu qawlan sadida and then yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum wa man yuta allaha wa rasulahu faqad faza fawzan azima. Surah Al-Ahzab. Man yuta allaha wa rasulahu uh, those who obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger will uh, win in uh, life and next life. To enter, to uh, follow, to follow uh, him in our ibadah wa akhlaq and way of life. Yeah.
to follow the commands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa what he had said, to follow his good manners, akhlaq, and his morality, way of life, his ways with regard to dealings with people, dealing with uh, even disbelievers, even disbelievers. He had dealings with anyone, mashallah, with, with hikmah, wisdoms, and good manners, and morality, mashallah, that's the Prophet Muhammad, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and so during his in, in, uh, inviting disbeliever to Islam, he only uh, holds with the principle of al-hikmah, wisdom. And wal al hasana al-hikmah wal al hasana good manners. That's morality of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That he had said, I had only sent for completing good manners. That's only sent for completing good manners and morality. Uh, that's akhlaq of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he had that we have to follow his uh, his good manners, his good examples, and his way his way of life. How can the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his way of life during his dealings with people, his dealings with even animals, his dealings with uh, uh, hypo or with anyone? Uh, we had to say, how can the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam perform a prayer? How can the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam pray? How can the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam reciting the Holy Quran? And all of those to follow his good manners. That is the second part. Muhammad is messenger of Allah to achieve this pillars with obeying the Prophet Muhammad, whatever he commanded us to do to stay away from or avoid whatever he commanded us not to do and to follow him in our ibadah akhlaq akhlaq the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam laqad kana lakum fi rasulillah uswatun hasana liman kana yarju allah wal yawm al akhir and his way of life to love him more than we love our selves and our and our family and or and anything else in this world yeah, and so the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون حتى أكون أحب إليه من نفسه وماله وأهله. And then Umar ibn Khattab رضي الله عنه, أنا يعني أحبك يا رسول الله إلا من نفسي. فقال صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إلي أحب إلي من نفسه فقال عمر بن الخطاب الان يا رسول الله انت احب الي من نفسي the prophet said there is no one has get the high moral high degree of of islam except living in me more than he love he love more than we love ourselves our family anything else in this world and then Umar ibn al-Khattab said, Yes, Ya Rasulullah, I love you more than more than my family and more, more than anything else in this world. And then the Prophet uh, وسلم, had said, Oh Allah, there is one will not achieve a taqwa, one will not achieve that except believing in my except, except believing, believing me more than what he had enjoyed. Then Umar ibn Khattab said, Yeah, Ya Rasulullah, now I am believing in you more than myself. To understand and practice and promote his sunnah in the best way possible without creating any uh, chaos and, and any harm. To understand the saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa well. To understand and to practice and promote his sunnah in the best way possible. In the best in the best way possible. How can? For example, to recite hadiths of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa his guidance is or anything. Firstly, to understand the meanings, to understand reciting to and to promoting his sunnah well in the best way possible. That is actually the first pillar of Islam that is Shahada to Allah ilaha illallah. That is the first. The second we have pillar is establishing the prayers. Salah. Establishing the prayers. Salah. Iqam salah. Iqam salah. 
إقامة الصلاة performing كصلاة الصلاة إقامة الصلاة إيه the scholar the scholars of Islam say إقامة الصلاة implies doing uh, wudu in the proper way before going to establish prayer before going to performing a prayer you have to perform first doing wudu ablution ablution that means in Arabic in the proper way بطريقه صحيحه to do salah in its time also uh, to perform a salah five times a day every day five times to perform all of those prayer with its time and uh, to to it together concretion uh, concretion jama'a uh, where the reward is 27 times than praying alone and that's the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying salatu al jama'a akthar min thawabha akthar min salatu al fard bi 27 daraja and to fulfill the six conditions of salah, a shurut, a salah conditions of salah, to observe the proper manners, adab of doing it, such as submission and a submission to follow uh, preferable actions, sunan in our salah. Sunan al salah, after, pray, after praying, you have to perform sunan and nawafil, a sunan wa nawafil, to complete your salah in proper way. That is the second pillars of Islam. The third pillar of Islam is a zakah, giving zakah. The giving of zakah has been pointed out with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam for certain things, in certain ways, under certain conditions, under certain conditions. It is zakah, and that is it is it is zakah, and. Uh, the scholars say that knowing the details of zakah only becomes on an obligations when a person owns the types of property on things which requires him to give zakah for. Yani that means that you have to perform zakah and giving zakah to poor. How can that? If you have, mashallah, enough money uh, and, and property, and prosperity, mashallah, and then it becomes an obligation for kifaya and wakiba when a person owns the type of property, mashallah, he can to give zakah uh, for uh, poor and to, to become obligations, zakah. Um, and Hattul uh, Bayt, Hattul Bayt is the fourth pillars of Islam uh, to house Kaaba. It's obligations. We need to do only uh, once in our lifetime. Uh, only one time, only one in our life. Uh, in our lifetime. Okay. Uh, and only if uh, we made certain conditions, if we have the financial means and way of traveling peacefully, if we made these conditions, then we should perform the Hajj as soon as possible and not to deny it. If you have, mashallah, all excuse me, and all certain conditions, okay. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, if we, if we meet all of those certain conditions, mashallah, uh, to Al Kaaba, you have, uh, you have financial financial uh, enough yeah. money, the way of traveling peacefully, and all of those you can, mashallah, you can perform Kaaba. And yes. uh, as soon as possible, sir? not to, to line. Sir, yes. sir, the meeting is ending in four minutes. Can we leave and join again? So, the or the meeting will be ended, and we will not join. Al Al Hajj, the fourth pillar, the fourth pillar, Al Hajj. Sorry, I can't hear. If you, there's anything you can to write on chat. Time, only, only four minutes are left in, in this meeting. So can we leave and join again? Yeah, I can hear. Um, only four minutes. 
uh, okay, we had finished our class for this four minutes. Yani there is no, uh, not to make this class more time. Inshallah, we will uh, make conclusions, inshallah, quickly. Uh, that is, uh, that is, Zakah, al Hajj, Kaaba, is an obligation that we need to do only in our lifetime. Uh, and the fifth pillar is fasting. Fasting Ramadan, training programs for all Muslims to go through performing good deeds to become better Muslims. However, we should continue with these good deeds outside of Ramadan, praying in the masque and uh, the Hajjud, the Hajjud, reciting the Quran, helping and caring for others. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when asked uh, what is the best way is finish reading the whole Quran, said to do it in one month. And um, uh, yani, uh, this is some things we should practice all uh, the time. Uh, we should try to do the, uh, the night prayers at the Hajjud, Qiyam layl It's only one, two raka'ah and not every day outside Ramadan. Uh, Salam Ramadan. That's actually what I wanna to say. All the pillars of Islam, all of the pillar of Islam have ruling conscience and mannerisms, ahkam wa adab applies to them. It's important that we know that ahkam wa adab uh, uh, regularly remains ourselves, especially before Ramadan or before performing the hajj, so that we perform the pillars of Islam proper, properly according to Islamic Sharia. What Islamic Sharia ordered us to perform that? That means that I, I just wanna to say uh, this uh, class. Uh, I think that the, the, this is some conclusions for what I had said that must some pillars of Islam have missed. Uh, inshallah, we will end that class right now. But after listening and reciting that hadith quickly. عن أبي عبد الرحمن عبد الله بن عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنهما قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول يقول بني الإسلام على خمس شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمدا رسول الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وحج البيت وصوم رمضان That's actually that's sufficient to today إن شاء الله سبحانه وتعالى uh, did you understand, mashallah, um, Abdullah? Abdullah? Yes, I can understand. Jazakallah khairan. We had finished, alhamdulillah, but can you, uh, can you translations for this hadith, Buni al-Islam ala khams, but quickly. Make One conclusions. Transition. First, the five pillars of Islam had pissed. We have the first, the second, third, four, five, but quickly. Yes. Yes, you can see. Um, you can see quickly. Had zakat and shahada and saum Ramadan means yeah. fasting, the pillars of Islam. Yeah, fasting. Yeah, and, perfect. And shahada. Uh, and shahada, the first, 